All right, here we go, Ian. Welcome again to TPM. Glad to have you. Yeah, good to be with you again, Daniel. <laughs> you to jump right into our topics. Um, you told me earlier that you are working on something very special for UK pest controllers, getting them up in the priority list for vaccinations, etc. So, and a couple other things. So maybe you want to uh, tell us what what this is all about. Sure. Um, maybe we've, we've had some exciting news this week as to what the roadmap will look like. Um, in the four nations of the UK, because they're all following a slightly different roadmap, and, yeah. and, and that's fine. Um, and I'm sure many of our members, especially those that do work in the hospitality sector, which of course mm -hmm. is a huge sector, are, are especially keen to hear when businesses will start reopening. Awesome. Of course, we, we've pushed the hospitality sector to keep using pest controllers during lockdown because otherwise who knows what they're going to face when they go back in um, but alongside that we're still trying to get the governments of the UK firstly to to get key workers not just pest controllers all key workers further up the priority list That's for right. vaccinations I know it's difficult how, how do you prioritize over age over um, other underlying health conditions but key workers, they've been keeping everything going throughout the lockdown, throughout the pandemic. Um, I just feel that it, it would be good to give them a bit of recognition and mm -hmm. what better recognition than getting vaccinated early. Uh, so we're still pushing for that uh, and equally still pushing for them getting easier access to lateral flow tests. Uh, they have to be tested before they go into certain environments. And the companies are having to pay for these themselves. Oh, and wow. a single test is cheap enough, but if you're having to potentially do it many times for many people, it's quite a burden financially. So we're just looking at how, how can we get easier, more cost-effective access for lateral flow testing for the people that, that need it. And again, just a bit of recognition that these are key workers. They've kept the system going during lockdown and surely a little bit of recognition for not just for pest control, but for other key workers as well. Pretty exciting. We'll definitely keep our viewers and listeners up to date on these news, but uh, I definitely uh, recommend following the newsletter of uh, Ian of BPCA because they, you know, really hats off because, because the newsletter is really one of the most professional ones I've seen in the industry internationally, honestly. Um, so I wish something like that for Germany anyways. <laughs> so um, big compliment there. But um, next topic in that I wanted to revisit with you is mental health. In our last discussion, we spoke about a taboo topic, which is uh, mental health uh, in our industry for pest controllers. Um, you and I, we just chatted and, you, you know, we said, you know, you have it, I have it. We all have it in some sort. You know, someday we are stressed out. Some of us are burned out for a week. We feel like, you know, we, we can't go further, no matter if we work with our hands or with our heads. Um, we all have felt that. And uh, we've gotten some backwind after we spoke about that taboo, but also we've gotten some, how can you speak about that? That's absolutely, you know, uh, it's a taboo topic. But in the end, it was very positive. And I think, you know, the numbers really struck me at the very beginning that you've um, been so kind to share with them, uh, uh, them with us. But um you have some news on more details on with whom you're working on it to improve it and uh, maybe also some reactions that you gather. So let us know. Yeah, sure. And I mean, it, it was a very mixed reaction, which was interesting. But yeah, I mean, we we all need to look after our mental health because we all have and it, uh, we label it differently. Is it stress? Mm -hmm. Is it anxiety? Is it worry? Is it things that keep us awake at night? Mm -hmm. all sorts of phrases, but they are all mental health issues. True. And it's, it's many of us cope with these things very well, others don't. Mm. And it's that coping mechanism that's interesting. And we work in a sector, I mean, young males are a high risk group for mental health issues. Lone workers are a high risk group for mental health issues. Our, our sector's full of those. Awesome. And so we've got to recognize that this is something that you, you, you've got to be able to address and address it either internally with your family 
or externally with a with your employer or with a support agency. So you need somewhere that you can you can almost vent where your feelings are at and and, mm-hmm. and do that safely and securely and without any judgment. Um, because it's as I say it's something we all suffer from. But it's been interesting. The, 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 a lot of positive feedback that we've addressed the issue. Uh, a lot of people really would rather have it brushed under the carpet, mm. and, but that's not going to help anyone. Nope. Um, we we um, give a, a plug to Bear. Bear have are supporting a UK charity called the Campaign Against Living Miserably. C A L M. Cam. Oh, okay, um, that's... And they're working with, with us and the Trade Association for Golf Greenkeepers, who, again, have a lot of male oh, yeah. and lone working males, um, to, to look at how that charity can support, better support people in our respective sectors. So it's, mm-hmm. it's early days. Um, Bayer here in the UK did a presentation to the BPCA board wow. last week. Um, and the board uh, uh, unanimously agreed that this is something that we want to support. Um, and listen, if, if you don't have mental health issues and it's not of interest to you, that's great. But don't demean it for other people. Absolutely. Other people don't, don't, don't cope. So if we anything that will help somebody feel better or help somebody stop doing something silly, then bring it on. Bring it on. And Couldn't agree more. Make no apology for for really bringing mental health to the forefront of, yeah. of discussions. And the campaign against living miserably, they've got a couple of sessions running during Pest Extra. All and right, nice. Uh, so that's really the first first outing of that initiative um, to to the sector. So really looking forward to see how how well received that is. Yeah, I mean, I got to say, um, statistically, there's at least a couple of hundreds of people in, in Europe, in our industry that have uh, major, um, you know, call it stress problems, but mental health problems is probably the right, um, or issues is probably the right topic. And uh, it's it's really like, you know, in, in a man dominated sector or industry, it's everybody feels like, you know, I have to show strength all the time. I have to be powerful and, you know, don't show any weaknesses, etc. But uh, the ages, hopefully, of the alpha male are uh, long gone in times of uh, women and men, both working on an industry hand in hand. And I hope that also the strong uh, sex is gonna, um, yeah, out itself and uh, talk about it more openly in the session at Past Extra. So that's really also one that I'm definitely going to follow myself because, you know, more than anything else in uh, what we do here, you especially as a very good example, and also myself, we do a lot about, um, a lot for our sector, extra time, extra shifts, extra passion, because we love our industry and the people behind it. Every single one uh, that's watching and listening right now, we love them and we want to do anything to make them more comfortable, more safe. And this is a part of it. Um, so there is a lot of, uh, I have a lot of uh, positive um, feelings for that and, 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 and honestly passion myself. So I'm definitely going to follow that. So Pest Extra, what else is to expect? I mean, it's it's in March, right? So uh, yeah, what it's we in March. It's, it's, I think, 19 days from when we're recording this to go. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's looking really good. I've got to say my events team, my marketing team have done a superb job pulling this together. It's a real, a real leap of faith. Um, they, they, we, we're obviously very disappointed that P- Pest X, the physical event, had to be postponed, and that was the right decision. Um, and we're absolutely hopeful that it will run next March oh, in yeah. London at the Excel. Um, but doing a digital event, it's new to us, it's new to the exhibitors, it's new to the, the those attending. Um, so it's a real leap of faith. But I've got to say, we've got a phenomenal lineup over three days. Um, we've got five seminar theatres running concurrently. Um, we've got a, a technical theatre. Uh, obviously focusing on technical stuff. We've got an innovation theatre and then our three main sponsors, Bassive, Bell 
and Kill Jam, they've all got a theatre running as well. Oh, wow. So ov- over each day, there are up to five seminars running almost concurrently. So a huge learning opportunity. Um, if you Obviously, you're going to have a real challenge deciding which session to go to, but don't worry because it's all recorded. If you, if you can't choose, you'll be able to watch it on demand later. So the wealth of content is, is phenomenal. And I mean, just as a flavour, on day one, we, we've got a session on mosquitoes, one on bird mites, and one on anticoagulant resistance. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got one on business competitiveness, one on mm-hmm. digital uh, pest oh, management, wow. which goes dear to your heart. Uh, <laughs> it's a session, well, yeah. session from the campaign against living miserably, as we just mentioned. Nice. And we've got one on endoxicarbs. Um, so a, a wide range, cockroaches, rodent parasites, protecting non-targets, uh, some new products like the colicalciferol products. Oh, yeah, nice. Uh, nice. I, I just an immense range of uh, seminars. Oh. Short, they're 40, 45-minute seminars, um, just just like this. You, you'll be um, able to join in. But alongside the seminars, you've then got the coffee lounge. Now, you won't be able to go in and hug people or anything, but you can have an online chat or a video chat with people. You can invite people in. Uh, you can catch up with old friends in, in the virtual coffee lounge. Pretty cool. Um, we do have a few couple of round table events every day as well, and that's where people can join in a discussion. All so, right. for example, on, on day one, I'm running one on what makes a professional professional. Good. Um, and that's where people can actually, we can discuss what makes a professional professional. Um, and then there's the exhibitors. Without the exhibitors, this event wouldn't happen. And yeah, they, yeah. they, it's new to them doing this stuff. I know some of them may have been involved in, in Pest World at the end of last year, <clears throat> but for most, it, it's, it's a new venture. But they've been great, some great new products. They're going to have great competitions, demonstrations on their stand and so on. So just a huge learning opportunity that we're doing a scavenger hunt so people can um, accrue points as they go around and do things and points make prizes. So we've got, oh, nice. yeah, uh, we, obviously it's a great opportunity for CPD points. Yeah, the other yeah. thing is I, I've been very clear because this is new, we need to put a lot of effort into getting people ready for it. True both delegates and exhibitors. And this week we've been recording support videos for delegates. Mm. It just walks them through what to expect, what to see, what to do when they first register, what what will happen in seminar rooms, what will happen in coffee lounge, what will happen when they go onto an exhibition stand, how it works, what they need to do, and all of that. So we're We've done a full range of videos for ex- for awesome. delegates, awesome. and we've done a full range of support videos for the exhibitors. We're doing um, support videos for everyone that's speaking during the event, so that they know exactly what how it's going to work and what to expect, what it's going to look like, what it's going to feel like. Because the the more ready somebody is for this experience, the more they'll get out of the experience so i've been very keen on doing everything we can to support the readiness of those taking part yeah Um, yeah. so really if if you haven't already done so then i i commend to anyone have a look at the the pest extra website and see what's on every day i think you'll be pleasantly surprised i wouldn't um, be because as a you know earlier i uh, recommended everybody to follow your newsletter and i did that not because i'm you know i like you um because um you guys and your marketing team 
really know their business. It's not like you would expect from pest control. Uh, they really know, um, you know, white papers, webinars, all kinds of content and corporations. So it's really grown up advertising stuff. So Pest Extra is really also going to be a grown up uh, event. There's going to be some things that, you know, are not perfect and not comparable. But uh, honestly, I think the incomparability of it is going to make it so unique and interesting. So I'm definitely going to tune in and spend some hours there. And I would address um, you know, or recommend everybody to do the same uh, <laughs> if it's at least for CPD points that you can collect in the uk um but uh i will do so um yeah uh from uh, from uh yeah how do you say um without force is what's the english word <laughs> yeah but that's, that, there's something for everyone yeah uh, so but, uh, have a look around Pla plan your day um uh, and the the sessions are running at different times so day one it's uk morning uh -huh. uh, day two it's uk afternoon and evening Uh -huh. And then day three, it's UK mid morning to mid afternoon. So we've we've staggered mm -hmm. the days as best we can because we're getting a lot of global interest. Yeah, uh, no, I believe uh, as well. So luckily we speak in English, so uh, <coughs> yeah. getting a lot of international people hopefully and seeing them in a yeah. In a although um, I noticed that um, I think it's is it Bassive or Bell? One of them, are, they've got, it's Bell, they've got sessions on uh, their IQ technology, um, oh, nice. and they're running it in Dutch, Spanish, French. No and, way, that's impressive. Yeah, uh, which is great. And in the Kill Germ Theatre, um, they've got sessions um, with speakers from America. So, yeah. uh, Dr. Stuart Mitchell speaking on flying insect management, Jeff White from Bed Bug Central, um, so and Fred Hurstel from their Pest West, Pest West business. <laughs> on, <Pest West. laughs> yeah, so a, f a few yeah. international speakers as well, which is yeah. great. Yeah, sounds well. I mean, we're definitely going to link the, um, uh, um, you know, the event and everything uh, that you people are interested in um, below the video on YouTube and also in the descriptions on Spotify and in the blog. So make sure to check them out. Um, Ian, uh, again, really, I uh, thank you for the time. I would love um, to readdress all these topics and revisit it. And uh, after a couple of months after Pest Extra, you're probably gonna going on holidays after Pest Extra, but <laughs> a couple of months after that, I would love to revisit that and see how it's gone because I think other associations in other countries are definitely going to uh, tune in on, on, on that trend. So um, again, thank you so much for the time. Appreciate yeah, it. Daniel, it, it's great. And uh, it'd be good to, to look at how Pest Extra has gone. Yeah. Uh, and I'm very keen that not only do we continue with physical events once we're yeah. out of lockdown, but we need to keep yep. the momentum going with these digital events because it Absolutely. just improves accessibility. So Absolutely. Great. Good, Ian. Stay safe. Thank you so much. And you. Cheers, Daniel. Thanks yes. now.